Welcome to the Sunday Night Shooters edition of Common Man Cocktails. Today, we're gonna create another recipe that I'm putting air quotes around. It's called Crap on Grass. Could also have an S and end in a T, but why do we need to be vulgar? Crap on grass is still kinda weird. Um, it's a layer drink. And as you can imagine, it's gonna be two things. It's going to be something that's green. There's our grass, and it's gonna be something that's not so green. We're using Kahlua Especial, because that's what the recipe calls for. This recipe was submitted by Stefan from Denmark, and Stefan's been whipping back and forth with emails, talking about different recipes, and um, this was one that came over when I had requested more shooter recipes. And so this is a layer drink, but I forgot to make it ahead of time to see if it layers, so I could look like a complete fool. But I'm gonna believe Stefan knows Not what he's really, talking about. We just won't air it. We just won't air it. Because we don't want to look that much like a fool. If we're gonna look like a fool, then we gotta do something foolish. That would just be dumb if we have a recipe that doesn't work. What? Huh? It's green. It's green. That's grass right there. That's a half ounce. Um. Probably a little more. It's a half ounce of each, but it the, it really comes down to you know what your cocktail glass looks like. If I filled it up, I wanted to get it right past the flute. That way the, the crap would sit on top of the grass. If it was way down here, it would be kind of lame. Okay. So the recipe is half and half. I can't tell what it's doing. Oh, crap. On grass. No, it works. We are safe. Stefan knows what he's talking about. Bam, ready? Oh, I've had a lot of coffee. That looks really nice. Very, very fine. Very cool. And that is like the, the best layering. Like these two guys layer extremely well. No blending, nothing. Does it look good? You like it? It kinda does look like crap. It does look like crap on grass. Oh well. Are you breaking my camera? Our camera? No, I'm just not zooming out very smoothly. Oh. Well, if, if you wonder why the zoom... Hand. If you're wondering why the zoom is a little not so smooth, she's using a remote from across the room. We got, we, we've upgraded our technology a little bit. Here I go. Ready? Smells like coffee liqueur. Tastes like crap. On grass. No. Whoa. Whew. This is one of that you just breathe in and let all that alcohol just light on fire. Sweet, super sweet, super duper sweet. Very tasty. My belly is burning. I like that feeling. It's um pretty much you're getting, if you like Midori, you're getting a punch in the face with Midori, but you've got this... This creamy, because the way it seems to go into your mouth is that the Kahlua kind of coats your tongue, so you get that nice coffee taste. So when the, the Midori comes in, it's not so super fine Midori in the face that much. And you're left with coffee and melon, like a melon coffee. Doesn't sound like a pear as well. I would never buy a ground up melon coffee for to, to drip into my coffee maker. But if it tastes like this, I'd do it twice. This is a pretty good drink. Definitely neat. I like the layering effect that it was so fine and, and great. The name, it could use a little work, but I'm sure Stefan wasn't the one who invented it. He just apparently shoots these every day and night or whatnot. So there you go. That is your Sunday night shoot for this week. Crap on grass. Don't forget to check out November 20th. We're going to be airing our episode on the 10 cane spiced apple punch. So if you need any of these punch packets, you got a bottle of 10 cane, you can't find sponge... Punch. Sponge Sp I, I wanted to say SpongeBob SquarePants. They have these sponge, sponge, punch packets with these things. It goes into the um, the apple juice. Wow, that's full. And I've got a couple. So I've got a big pile here in case you need them. So, you know, send me an email and I'll fire one out to you in the mail so you can make this for Thanksgiving, for holidays, for fun, um, for the show. When we do ours on the 20th, you could be ready and we could taste along.
That'd be pretty cool. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Thank everybody for leaving comments. I, I love the comments, and so I just wanted to say one more time, thank you for everybody who drops the comments down. If you're an iTunes viewer and we've seemed to gone up in the last couple weeks, like a lot, um, head over to everydaydrinkers.tv. Leave us some comments. I want to know who you are. We can exchange emails, see what you like for recipes. I'm your host, Eric Schomer, and we're teaching you how to drink.